Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my car build and tuning episodes. Last episode, we tuned this, the Pontiac Firebird. And the way I'm choosing my cars now, I'm doing it completely random. Um, I quite literally close my eyes and whatever I land on, I tune into a drift car. So we are up on the Pontiac Firebird. I'm thinking about going left, but I, I want to continue right, see what is right, and hopefully we get a good, good car. Uh, so I, I'm going to count to six seconds. So I'm going to close my eyes, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 6,000. I just fucked up counting, didn't I? <laughs> I generally just fucked up counting. But we got a Volkswagen Golf, GTI. Okay, this is going to be a little bit, a little bit interesting. I generally went, <laughs> wow, I can't count. I generally can't count. That is just messed up. I went 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 6,000. Like, I missed out 5. Why did I miss out 5? Oh my god. Wow, that's quite embarrassing. That is very embarrassing. Okay, so there's no actual good uh, paint jobs there. Uh, so we're going to go We're gonna go with the red. The red's kind of interesting. It goes with the front, um... <coughs> the front, uh, what should we call it? Oh, it's in the, the word has just eluded me. <laughs> What? Front grill. That's what I wanted to say. The front grill. Okay. So, do you want to lose the. Yep. Wow. I can't believe I actually f messed up counting. Like, it's not even that high. Five. How can I mess up from five? <laughs> wow. Okay. So, into the upgrades. <laughs> Let's swiftly move on from that. Let's try and forget that. Okay. So, we're going to have to do a drivetrain swap here. Rear wheel drive. Uh, so we will be able to drift this. Uh, what I will say, this is a very, very short wheelbase car. It's going to be a very light car as well. Which is going to be pretty crazy. Um, kind of tempted to stick with a standard engine, to be honest. Um, what we could do... Uh, okay, let's... No, not that one. Let's, let's slap this in. 212 horsepower right there. Uh, a little bit more. I uh, don't think I'll upgrade this, the power too much more, to be honest. Uh, because the weight. It's just the weight, really. Uh, the weight with a short wheelbase is going to be absolutely crazy. So, see if there's any nice, nice... I kind of like that. Yeah, I really like that, actually. So, let's go with that. Okay, it's 1,200 kilos. So, it's not as light as I thought it was. But after we put the race weight reduction on... It's going to be a little bit crazy, so... Let's stick with the stock there. I like the stock a little bit more, it's a little bit cleaner. And so let's, get, let's stick with the stock there as well. Okay. So that... Okay, the front bumper's got to come off. Maybe if I've done the side skirts and everything, uh, it'd look kind of normal, but... It's got to come off if I've only got the front bumper on. <laughs> looked a little bit strange, so... There we go. Um, tires... I'm sticking with stock tire compound. Okay, now whips. We're gonna do two four fives on the front and on the rear. Two four fives. Okay, so this there's only two four fives we could do max on the rear. So if we go down to two two fives on the front, that's okay. Uh, wheels. Should we slap BBS on this just to be like seen, be like everyone else in a golf? Yeah, why not? Let's just put BBS in this. On this. We are like every other Golf GTI driver in the world. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, let's make the room size a bit bigger. Let's go to 16s. So that should be absolutely fine. Should be fine, fine, fine. Okay, so that is tyres and rims done. Drivetrain, everything in drivetrain is going to be raced, so... If we just run through and do everything racing here, watch out for the, the off-road transmission. We don't want to be chucking that on. It fucks up the gear in to another dimension and it comes back. <laughs> Are those wheels poking? I can't change my camera, but they look like they're poking. <laughs> Are you poking, bro? Okay. So platform and handle it. Uh, we want... Let's go for street brakes. We don't want to go all out on brakes. Just in case we want a tandem, etc. We don't want to be slamming on those brakes. Okay, springs and dampers. 
a lot of people have been saying to do the off-road uh, because it gives you more steering angle or something but to me it looks absolutely ridiculous and I'm not going to do that I'm going for more looks with my drift builds uh, because I'm kind of used to the steering angle on this game now anyway so that's that maybe on a car where it doesn't look as ridiculous because uh, it looked like a bit, bit of a, like a bit of a I don't know monster truck I guess um, so yeah let's do that um, roll cage do we want to roll cage yet uh, let's just do strap races here and weight reduction let's see how much this goes down so 1000 kilos that's not actually too bad so let's slap that on uh, we want to lose weight obviously uh, in terms of power uh, let's make it noisy let's put an air filter uh, let's put exhaust on uh, so that puts us to 252 I think at around maybe 400 brake horsepower I think that should be should be very sufficient uh, pistons and compressions should push it up uh, another 26 horsepower there nice nice um, I think this is going to be everything race basically because there's not many upgrades in here that pushes the horsepower up a lot anymore so let's go through and slowly put these on one by one okay maybe not we're up to 382 horsepower 403 spot on that is what we're looking for um, I think that's going to be absolutely sufficient for this car um, and yeah that looks pretty clean I'm not gonna lie okay it isn't poking I thought it was poking but from that camera angle you can tell it is a little bit a little bit not poking <laughs> I didn't know what to say though is that not poking <laughs> okay so where should we go should we go to the, no let's go to let's go to the airfield we can get the couple of circuits uh, rolling around here we don't have to stop every time we do a run Okay, hope you guys enjoy like the random aspect of these car builds though, because it kind of takes out the, kind of takes out like the JDM, like the same cars I do every single time, like Sylvia's, like Skylines, just the typical JDM cars. It takes them out of the picture, and we tune in something a little bit different, which is, which is more fun to be honest. Um, a little bit better to, to pull out in lobbies and stuff as well. Oh wow. Okay. That was crazy. I think I kind of didn't really compensate for the short wheelbase there. Okay, so the gearing is really bogging down. Uh, so I'm going to shorten the gearing first off. Um, quite a bit. because It feels very, very long. Um, so let's jump across here. Okay, gearing. Yeah, it's very, very long. So, if we just bring this in a bit, 4.3. Um, should take the gear in a little bit better now. Okay, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't do a 360 that time. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay, that drifted quite well. Why is golf drifting like car, bro? Car, bro? <laughs> like JDM, bro? Okay, so front on the wheel, it seems a little bit, a little bit slidey. So let's take the tire pressures down a bit. Um, in the rear, it seems about fine. So I'm not going to change that. Gearing seems spot on right now. Um, let's take the camera up a tiny bit as well. Try and loosen up the wheels a tiny bit. See how that goes. Um, Caster, we're going to take up to six. Anti roll bars, just bring the rear up to a little bit stiffer. Springs, let's make the car a little bit stiffer as well. Um, I like my cars a lot stiffer, so I'm going to be taking this up. Why was it not scrolling then? What the hell? Um, so let's do that. Uh, ride height all the way to the bottom. Wow, that goes really low. What the hell? Okay, damping, 
pretty stiff already, so that's all right. Um, bump stiffness is all right as well. Break in differential, we want 100 percent and 100 percent. Okay, so that is on. So we can see how this goes now. Um, it's pretty much just a bass tune, so it probably might not work. It it could work. Who knows? Try not to do snappy transitions in this because it is short wheelbase, so I don't really want to um, be kind of doing like mad transitions because you won't be able to hold it. Wow, look at that angle, bro. Got plenty of power. Plenty of power. It's not every day you see a Golf GTI drifting, is it? Okay, so I am going to loosen up the rear a bit more. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the front tyre pressures a little bit. And on the rear we're going to up the camber. No, negative camber, sorry. I always say up the camber, don't I? But technically it's down, like making the camber go down. But yeah, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> Lol. Um, so let's take the tyre pressures up in the rear as well. It just feels a little bit grippy in the rear. So let's try that now. So it feels a lot better in the wheel, which is good. Okay, okay. Um, camber's just going to keep going up. Camber is just going to. Camber's just rocketing, bro. Uh, I'm going to bring up the front to 2. And let's take up the rear to like 2.6. See how that goes. Because it feels. The car feels fine, but I'm just trying to. Try to get it in that sweet spot. That's better. We held the hang the angle the angle the whole way around there, uh, which is what I was aiming for. Transitions are a lot more snappier. Yeah, that camber has really helped. Look at that stableness in this thing, madness. Ah, oh, I tried to get it close to the wall. But I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up. The gearing is spot on. The power is pretty much there. Um, the tune has brought out this car's stability. Look at that. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, I'll probably give this a few more runs. See if there is a problem with this. Oh my god. That grass royally fucked me up then. Wall tap. That's what I was aiming for the first time, but I hit the container. Hello. So yeah, this is actually quite a good car, you know. <laughs> this is actually a really, really good car. What the fuck? On the grass. Still held it while it was on the grass as well. Whoa, what the hell was that? Anyone see that, like, dust? It was like someone drove through. Wheel tap again. Oh, that was a little bit solid, that wheel tap. Fucked up my drift, bro. Fucking up my drift, bro. Look at that. Just look at that. Oh my god. Okay. Pretty sick car. Not gonna lie. So, for you guys, um, I am gonna upload the tune onto the storefront. So, it is easy for you to download if you don't want to um, uh, kind of like make it for yourselves. If you don't want to copy the video. Oh my god. Oh my god, what did I do? Uh, yeah, so if you don't want to copy it off the video, you can just search on this. I'll just call it that, yeah? <laughs> that meant to say drift, <laughs> but it came out wave thrift. Okay, so it'll be the only tune up there from me because, 
well, it's a Golf GTI. I didn't really expect to be tuning this to drift, uh, but it's turned out very, very good. Uh, so just go into the storefront and search my gamer tag, and it should come up. Uh, one thing you have to be in the car to find the tune. Um, so if you're in like a, I don't know, a Volkswagen Beetle, you won't find a tune for a Volkswagen Golf. So you've got to be in the Golf to find it. Um, I've got a lot of wheel spins to use up. I probably will do a video just opening wheel spins because I've been collecting those since like the f <laughs> when I started the game. So that's cool. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. A little bit different with a, with a lovely Golf GTI right here. Um, it's a very surprisingly good car. Uh, it's got the balance, it's got the power, it's got the stability. It feels very, very nice, and I'm really surprised. So, hope you guys check out this hidden beast. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.